In this demonstration we're going to look at using Windows Server Backup to backup our file server. So the first thing we need to do is we do actually need to install the Windows Backup feature. So in order to do that I've come into Server Manager on my server. I'll go for Add Roles and Features. Select my Next button. Installation Type we'll go for Role Based or Feature Based Installation and select Next. Server Selection we'll go for this server, LonServe1. Won't bother with any additional server roles but we will install the Windows Backup feature. Then we'll select our next button, select install, and we'll allow this to install. So we'll pause the presentation at this point and turn back once the installation is complete. The installation is now complete, so we'll select close. Then what we're going to do here is we're just going to come to tools. We're just going to go to Windows Server Backup, and that will then launch up the backup program. So if we come to local backup, now what we're going to do here is just allow this to refresh. The two types of backups we can do, we can either do a scheduled backup where we can program this to backup at a certain time of each day, or what we can also do as well as we can do an on-demand backup as well. So let's go with a backup schedule to start with. And all we're going to do here is we're just going to schedule a backup to occur. So we'll select next. We want to do a full server backup. Select next. What we want to do here is we just want to backup once a day, and we want to backup at, let's say, 1 a.m. in the morning. So we'll scroll this up, go for 1 a.m., and then we'll select our next button. Specify the destination type. We can back up to a hard disk that's dedicated for backups, which is recommended, or we can back up to a volume, or we can back up to a shared network folder. So let's back up to a shared network folder because if the server dies, I do need to be able to restore the data. So we'll select next. Select OK on the little warning that's just telling us that any backups that we take will be overwritten by this, the following backup. So we'll select OK at this point. Then what we'll do is we'll specify our location. And we're going to specify that as backslash backslash lon hyphen dc1 backslash backup and select next. We'll just put in our username and password for the backup. So we're going to specify that as administrator and select OK. And then what we're going to do here is quickly read through a summary. We're happy with everything that's in place, so we'll select finish. That's now going to go away and create my backup schedule. The other way we can do a backup is we can do a on-demand backup. So if we go for backup once... What we can then do is we can go with schedule backup options or we can go with different options. I'm going to go with different options. I don't want to do a full server backup at this point. So we'll select next. What we're going to do here is we're going to go for custom and select next. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add some items. And what we're going to add here is we're just going to come to our E drive. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for our lab files folder. And then we're going to select OK. And what we can also do at this point, if we click on advanced settings, is we do have the ability to put in any exclusion. So if we click on add exclusion, what we can do here is let's just go for our A drive. Let's go for lab files and let's just go for data and let's just go for file one. Select OK at this point here. Select OK again. And then what we're going to do is select next. Specify the destination to be remote file share and select next. Specify the remote file share. And I'm going to specify that as backslash backslash lon hyphen dc1 backslash backup. Select my next button and then select backup. So this is now going to go away and do my backup. So what we'll do at this point here is rather than sit and watch this, we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the backup is complete. And as we can see, the backup is now complete. We've backed up 64.76 meg. So we'll select close at this point. And what we can see here is we have our little message activity and we can see the backup was successful. And that's the end of this demonstration of using Windows Server Backup to backup Windows Server. Thank you.